Hey guys, so this is my first collective haul dealing mainly with all you otaku people out there. So basically mangas, um, animes, posters, and comic books. So if you like that stuff, stay tuned. Okay, so I went downtown. No, sorry. I went to Pacific Mall. And um, if you guys like if you guys have seen my room tour I'm a I love Chobits it was my first anime and I just totally fell in love with it instantly because of uh, just the storyline and everything and I found Chobits playing cards oh my god uh, it was under six dollars which is pretty good and uh, this is honestly the first time I've seen Chobits playing cards in Pacific Mall anyways I know downtown they don't sell these but if you go to Pacific Mall geez you'll find like a lot of things that you can't find downtown there and look at that <sighs> so pretty hopefully you guys can see it. I know I'm going really fast but yeah I just want to show you guys that um, they have different anime like different animes that they made playing cards out of like um they have naruto uh they even have spirited away they just have a lot to name a few like they even have um final fantasy final fantasy um seven and uh advent children so if you're a big fan of that you should go up there because they sell a hell of a lot of those things um as for like the rare stuff like chobits or even lucky star not so much but i did find um a lucky star card play set but it wasn't in a nice it wasn't in one of these it was in a shitty cardboard box and um we weren't supposed to open them but you know if you can't see the cards i mean why would you pay for something you can't see so we opened them which was easy to open by the way we opened them and i'm gonna assume it was used because the way the cardboard box looks ugh. but we opened them and the cards were pretty much damaged. I mean, the art was amazing, but the cards were damaged and I decided not to get it because if you're not going to put it in a nice card holding pack like this and we can't see how it looks like, screw that. So, yeah, if you go up there, you'll find a lot and a lot of different ones. I don't know if they're, if you're going to see any of these. This was the only Trobits pair that I found. But I am so happy. Okay, so that's my first, I guess, haul that I have. And when I was um, downtown going through used bookstores, I found mangas. Yay! This is Foxy Lady. And if you guys haven't noticed, like, I had to get this. Come on. Hello. Look at that. Isn't it obvious? But, um, I got it. And it was only $4. $4. And the condition of it is really good. Most, um, mangas and used bookstores, you know, aren't that great. But if you do look through, you will find, like, good quality for $4. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. I'm happy. And then I got a gender bender one for all the mature readers out there. Uh, Yubisaki Milk Tea. Um, it's kind of weird. I mean, it, like, some parts are Yuri, but you can't really say it's Yuri because it's a guy dressed as a girl. But I'm just going to say that it's a very interesting read. I also got this for $4. Um, I'm only on number one. Because this is all I have. Because obviously, if you guys know, I, I don't really have, like, a lot of splurging money, you know, to buy mangas at regular price. I mean, I already mentioned it before. Um, personally, for me, and my for my tips anyways for you guys is never buy mangas at full price. Especially if you live in Canada. If you go to Indigo or Tapters or any of those stores and they're selling, obviously they're selling their mangas Canadian price. You're getting ripped off you need to go into the comic book stores in Toronto you need to go to the obviously the anime manga stores in Toronto and you'll find that they are selling their mangas for the US cover price and if you're lucky and you go on a day where it's on sale it'll be even cheaper than that 
Um, personally, for me, I always go when it's on sale, um, even if it is U.S. cover price, because I just, I don't, you know, I cannot splurge that much right now. But um, when there is a sale, which is, I would say every few months, I go and I get as much as I can. But on the most part, I usually go to, like, different used bookstores and check it out. Because sometimes you never know. You, you might see, you know, mangas. I mean, don't expect to find what you're looking for. I mean, it's usually just, if you're lucky, you'll find it kind of thing. But when you do find it, like, it's $4 most of the time. Um, I've seen Yahweh books um, that were published by June Manga. I've seen them for as cheap as $7. And that's pretty good considering that they are regularly $16. So, if you guys look around, you might see what you want. So that's my tip for that, and that's my haul for the mangas. Okay. And then, when I was at my comic book stores, and like I said, if you watch my room tour, you'll know that I'm a big Harley Quinn fan. I found a new series that they started in August that includes her. Unfortunately, like, unfortunately, she's not the main character, but she's still in it. Um, it it's with Harley Quinn, Ivy, and Catwoman. <sighs> like, you can't go wrong. Like, holy shit, they're hot. Like, motherfucker hot. So, here is the first issue. Freaking gorgeous. So far, five came out. It came out in August. Um, I haven't... I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read them yet because I've been busy reading other things because I I don't know if this happens to you guys, but I find myself collecting more than like Reading them off the bat like I'll buy a bunch of them and just not read them and then buy more and then not read them I, I need to break that habit, but I'm starting to read the mangas that I did buy and um, So far so good but after I'm done reading my mangas, which is a lot, because I've been collecting and not reading, I'm going to start reading this series. And also the other series you saw in my room tour, which is the older one from 1999. But I can't wait. Um, I've read reviews, you know, so far they're just, you know, see how it goes kind of thing. No one can't really pinpoint their finger on it. Some like it, some don't, but who knows. I can't really judge yet. And then... I found this. Oh my god. It's not a comic book. It's like a mini... I don't know. It's not paper. It's weird. But it was $4 and I've never seen this before and I know it's not from 2009. This is like from, a lo like, I don't know. I have no idea what year this is from. But I looked through it and it was freaking gorgeous. And that store, I've been going too religiously because you know when you're lucky like you'll find what you're looking for and I did after like weeks of looking through their comic book boxes okay so that's that and another th another thing that I bought well two things that I bought that I shouldn't have bought because I have a small room and because I have a ton of them already on my wall is a wall scroll um, I don't want to mention this again, but if you did watch my room tour, you will see how packed, like literally packed, my walls are of posters and whatnot. And when I was up at Pacific Mall, they were selling posters for $14, and I haven't seen these posters downtown, or even, yeah, pretty much nowhere in Toronto. Um... And I found them. Yee! Okay, so I found, of course, a Chobit poster. I hope you guys can see it. If you can't see it, let me know and I'll just do it again. I don't know. Can you see it? But yeah, I found her and oh my, she's like boner time. I don't care, like seriously, hot, okay? And, okay, I officially, you guys already know this, I hate my fucking camera thing. It cut me off, but I'm gonna continue. 
Um, what was I saying? If you guys watch the Claymore, I hope that they come out with season two because if they just like literally left it off like that, that would be horseshit. But um, yeah, uh, I found Claire. I found her. Hello. I. F oh my God! Spaz attack. I've seen Teresa downtown, but I've never seen Claire, and I finally fucking found her. And I'm so uber, uber happy, and that is my conclusion for my collective haul. I hope to God I can find space to hang these up. I highly doubt that I will, so I probably have to pick ones that I'm going to be taking down and replacing them with these. But I'm happy, and I hope that you guys find what you're looking for at a cheaper price. Bye. Can you see my ears? Can you?